Hello everyone, in this video, we will discuss the steps on how to create and prepare an ER diagram for online food ordering system. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates. The Capstone Project entitled Online Food Ordering System is a web and mobile-based application that allows an organization to post their menus slash foods that they offer and accept orders from the customers through this platform. This is somewhat a form of e-commerce platform but specifically intended for food ordering. The first step in the development of the online food ordering system is to prepare the ER diagram that will serve as the basis later on in the creation of the actual database. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify the entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of online food ordering system later on. In the online food ordering system we have the following entities. 1. User 2. Site Information 3. Payment 4. Order 5. Order Details 6. Customer 7. Rating 8. Menu 9. Menu Type. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. The following are the relationships that we have established. 1. The users manage slash update the site information, one-to-one -one relationship. 2. The user processes the orders of the customers, one-to-many relationship. 3. The user processes the payment of the customers, one-to-many relationship. 4. The customer places their orders, one-to-many relationship. 5. Order information can contain one or more items, one-to-many relationship. 6. An order detail contains one or more menu, one-to-many relationship. 7. The order information will be linked to the payment module, one-to-one -one relationship. 8. The customer gives their rating on a menu, one-to-one -one relationship. 9. A menu has multiple ratings from the customers, one-to-many relationship. 10. A menu belongs to a specific menu type, one-to-one -one relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. User entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Full name contact email address username password. Site information entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Name description contact info address user ID-foreign key last update. Payment entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Order ID-foreign key amount paid by date processed by, foreign key. Order entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Customer ID-foreign key order date total amount order status processed by, foreign key. Order details entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Order ID-foreign key menu ID-foreign key amount no of serving total amount. Customer entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. First name, last name, middle name, email, phone number, landline, profile, image, username, password, account status. Rating entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Menu ID-foreign key score remarks date recorded customer ID-foreign key. Menu entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Name price type ID-foreign key image ingredient status. Menu type entity has the following attributes. ID-primary key represented with underline. Type name description. Note. All attributes with underline represents the primary key of the entity or table. The next step is to convert the plan designed on ER diagram into the actual database. Please search for the online food ordering system article which was already posted.
Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.